program is dedicated to the memory of Jim Henson, creator of the Muppets. It is again. Dodie? <laughs> Dodie, are you awake? Dodie, are you awake? What, what, what is it, Basil? What? Oh, the what? 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 Oh, oh, Basil. What's wrong? Did you hear a noise? Oh, a noise, Basil? Oh, hmm. Basil. You have to be brave like me when you camp out. Oh. <sighs> Let's just go to sleep, Basil, and try not to wake up Elmo. Okay. Oh. 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 That's no good. Basil, uh, would, would you like me to tell you a story? Oh, Dodie, would you please? Okay, all right, get comfortable. Now, let's see. Um, Once upon a time, far, far away, there lived a good-hearted shepherd bear. He was a kind and gentle little bear. He was, as well, very handsome indeed. Now, on the day on which our story takes place, the little shepherd was faced with a problem. He had lost one of his sheep. Maybe I counted wrong. There's supposed to be three lammies. <laughs> Line up. One, two, three. Oh, where could my other lammy be? <laughs> And so the little shepherd wandered into a nearby forest. He had never gone into this forest before. He knew it was an enchanted forest. Oh, there you are, Lammy. The little shepherd was about to leave the forest when he heard from somewhere nearby a noise. Yeah. And are we ever glad 
to see you. You yeah. are? Strange things have been happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, someone keeps playing tricks on us. Yeah. Tricks? What kind of tricks? Hey, Elmo, you just tell us what happened. <laughs> oh, Elmo's my name. And Elmo the king. And the king, it should be a magnificent thing. Elmo has been the king's gown in a mace. I'll fit it with elegant style and grace. But also do Taylor and I make the clothes and not long ago some bad trouble arose oh I've been making trousers for all the town folk when somebody sewed up the legs for a joke but it isn't funny it makes me see red for to my dismay they just fit one way and how would you like to wear pants on your head for to his dismay they just fit one way Night, Sir Louis is nowhere to be found. Mm. But that isn't very nice of someone to be playing tricks on you. Mm. What are you going to do? Well, Fountain of Riddles can answer any question. Oh. Yeah. Fountain can tell us who, who's playing tricks. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Oh, someone has to go to Fountain of Riddles. Yeah. 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 But who? Just a minute. I'm a good-hearted little shepherd, not a brave little shepherd. Oh, no. Sorry. No. Hey, I know. Huh? I can give you a disguise. Oh, yes, no, no, no. I it's can okay. disguise you as a wandering minstrel, a musician. But, yeah, here. There. Now that will keep you safe. But why will that keep me safe? Well, the only other outfit I have is for a rat catcher. Well, I sure don't want to be a rat catcher. Oh, well, good luck, then. Yeah! Yeah! an information in mint jelly booth, so I must be an information dragon. <laughs> uh, information dragon? Uh, 
<gasps> well, we're looking for the Fountain of Riddles. Well, I don't know anything about that, but as long as you're in the neighborhood, why not take this opportunity to enjoy our famous giant poison eels? <laughs> Woods are full of them this time of year. Say, could I interest you in something for your lammies? Some mint jelly, perhaps? <laughs> giant poison eels. Well, here, I'll give you a brochure. They're quite remarkable, those giant poison eels. They come right up to you. Ooh, excuse me, spicy food. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you very much, uh, Information Dragon, but oh, oh, we've got to be going now. <laughs> bye bye. like a magical bird. Oh, it's really, really beautiful. Ah! Ah! Ah, I got you! I got you! You're the ones who are playing tricks on the creatures of the forest. Huh? Wait a minute. We are not. Wait, that's not very nice. We're the ones oh. who are trying to find the one that's playing the tricks. Oh. We're also trying to oh. find the fountain of riddles. <laughs> oh. But now we're going home. I hope. I think we're lost. Oh, excuse me. Yes, but uh, um, you're trying to solve the mystery? Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> Sir Louis, the Lionhearted, at your service. You must be the bravest knight that the creatures have been talking about. <laughs> yes, I am. And I will take you to the Fountain of Riddles. No, we're going home. Well, but, but come on, come on. I'm, I'm brave enough for all of us. Re really, really, I am. No, oh, no, absolutely not. And so they set off together to find the Fountain of Riddles. On and on they walked. Although the bravest knight had claimed he knew where the fountain was, Basil and his sheep couldn't help but feel the tiniest shivers of concern. Okay, I know exactly where we are. We turn at this tree. <laughs> No, 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 just a minute, just a minute. We turn it that tree. That's it. Yes. <laughs> that tree. Okay. Now, hang on, hang on. Oh, um, hang on. Oh, now I know for sure. Okay, this way. Ooh, this way. Such a long way, Sir Louis. My lemmies are tired. Can we rest a while? <clears throat> um, well, I suppose I'm the brave one. Uh, I'll just, um, look around a little there. All right. <laughs> huh? What was that? Uh, hello? Was that you, little minstrel? <sighs> a knight is so brave, nothing's braver than that. And I know I'm a knight, cause I'm wearing the hat. But to tell you the truth, I don't know what's in store. I've never been on an adventure before. Oh, life is a riddle, beginning to end. Something seems real, and it's only pretend. When the creatures had troubles, I knew I could see how courageous and strong, what a friend I could be. But the first thing I did was to run off and hide. I'm brave on the outside, but shaking inside. Oh, life is a question. It's true as can be. Oh, how unexpected things turn out to be. I've looked for adventure. I've longed for a fight. 
It isn't my fault Things have always gone right But for now, I'll admit I'm a bit terrified Perhaps I'll be brave With a bear at my side Oh, life is a puzzle From A through to Z How many surprises await I hear a noise. <laughs> Sir Louis, is that you? Oh, where is Sir Louis? Like getting friendly with an eel. Ah! Hey ho, I don't feel like staying in the forest. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Goblin. We're looking for the Fountain of Riddles. The Fountain of Riddles? Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a Fountain of Riddles. <laughs> but, 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 but. But if there's no fountain, how are we supposed to find out the answer to our questions? <laughs> oh, 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 you bad oh, goblin! Oh, oh. Well, that was pretty good. I certainly showed him, huh? Did you see the look on his face? Now that was one frightened goblin. Yeah. Oh, that's better. I thought he'd never leave. Wow! But seriously, why do firemen Wear red suspenders. It's the Fountain of Riddles! Yay! And keep their pants up. Get it? <laughs> good one. Pants. <laughs> well, yes, that's a good one, old Fountain of Riddles. But we have a question. Yeah, what we want to know is, um, who is playing tricks on the creatures of the forest? Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, okay. What wears a black pointy hat, a black dress, rides a broomstick, and is usually in a very bad mood? Mm, that's a tough one. Mm, let me see now. A black pointy hat. Come on, come uh, on. This is easy. Rides a broomstick. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Okay. One more hint. Oh, all right. It starts with W and rhymes with ditch. Starts with W and rhymes with ditch. Mm. Oh, I know. It's a witch. That's the answer. Hooray, I got it. It's a witch. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's a witch. It's a witch. It's a a witch! Run for ah! your lives! Run! Run! It's a witch! It's a witch! 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 Enough of pretending I'm a minstrel. What kind of a shepherd loses his lammies? And so, frightened and alone, the little shepherd carried on, following the hoof prints left by his missing sheep. How far could my lammies have gone? He wondered to himself. He would soon have an answer. This can only be the witch's house. Oh no! The footprints go right inside! My mammies! Ah. Yeah, take no, that King Elmo! Oh, King Elmo! Oh, 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 
We must hurry. We found out who's playing tricks. Oh, wonderful! Hey, but, 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 but the little shepherd and the lammies are gone. Ooh, we have gone. to save them. Yes, yes. let's save them. Yes. 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 Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, yes. Who's playing the tricks, Sir Louis? Oh, it's a witch. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Uh, witch. Uh, maybe we should think about this a little bit longer. Good idea. We don't want to be no point in rushing. Just come along and I'll do all the brave parts. All right. Now you're talking. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. We're right behind you now. Follow me. Oh, oh, come on. Let's get out of here before the witchy catches us. Come on, guys. We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta go. go. Ah! A witch! A bear! A witch! A witch! A bear! A bear! Uh, oh, just a minute. I'm just a shepherd bear here to get my lammies. I won't hurt you. You won't? Oh, and anyways, I'm the one who should be scared. You're the wicked witchy. Come on, lammies. Oh, wait, 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 look, don't go, please. Uh, oh. Look, just, just between us, don't tell anyone, but I'm not really a wicked witch. You're not? Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm actually a fairy princess. Oh, come on. No, it's true. Yeah. I, I'm just pretending to be a wicked witch to be scary. Oh, you don't look like a fairy princess to me. Come on, lammies. All right, I'll prove it to you. You see? Why, you are a fairy princess. <gasps> the most beautiful fairy princess I've ever seen. Why, thank you. But why would you want to be scary? Well, because I'm scared. You're scared? Mm -hmm. Of what? Well, I already explained it to the Lammies, but I guess I could explain it again. <laughs> Places, everyone! Yeah. Too scary to King Elmo. Shh, Your Highness. You wonder, I bet, why I'm jumpy and scared. You wonder why I have the jitters. Well, gladly, I'll tell you if you didn't know. That forest is crawling with critters. Whoa! The forest is crawling, it is quite appalling. The forest is crawling with critters. of the forest would never hurt you. They wouldn't? No, they would never hurt anybody. They wouldn't? Well then. 
That changes everything. Ever since I came here, I've been all alone and lonely out here in the sticks. But if what you're telling me can be believed, I don't need to be mean and play tricks. You don't need to be mean, not from what I've seen. You don't need to be mean and play tricks. So please tell the creatures I won't misbehave. No need for disguise and deceit. creatures of the forest, no longer would the creatures be afraid of her. And the little shepherd bear became famous far and wide for his great courage and for having saved the forest from its darkest hour. Oh, Dodie. Yes, Basil? They were all scared for nothing. The little shepherd and Sir Louis and the witchy, mm -hmm. they just didn't understand. That's right, Basil. That was a great story, Dodie. Why, why, thank you, Louie. Oh, there's that noise again. Ooh, it's a couple of kitties. Oh, I'm not scared of kitties. Well, now maybe we can get some sleep. And remember, we don't want to wake up Elmo. Good night, Basil. Good night, Dodie. Good night, Louie. Good night, Dodie. Good night, Basil. Good night, Elmo. Yeah. Hey, Dodie! Dodie! Yes, Elmo? Elmo hear a noise. Basil hears a noise. 